My name is Basir. In this video, I will be teaching you exercise 3 from chapter 7, Coordinate Geometry, CBSC 10th class syllabus. In your previous grade, grade 9, you must have already learned how to find out the area of a triangle when the sides of a triangle are given by using the Huron's formula. Now, in this exercise, we are going to learn how to find out the area of a triangle when the vertices of a triangle are given. I will solve all the questions from exercise 3. Also, let me know. Um, which chapter you would like me to cover in the next video. Let's sit down and solve exercise 3. First question it says find the area of the triangle whose vertices are 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 2, minus 4. See, if you have the three vertices of a triangle given to you, let us say that's our triangle A, B, C. Let us say this is our point A and this is the vertex B and this is the vertex C. So the three vertices of the triangle are given to us. When the three vertices of a triangle are given to us, we can find out the area of a triangle we can find out area of the triangle by using the formula half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 now let me rewrite the formula for you we use mod here because obviously we want to take the absolute value the area cannot be negative and that's the reason we take a mod here you call you read it you read the two pipe symbol here as modulus or you just read as mod so this is half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Let me tell you how I remember this formula. I actually draw a rough circle and then I write 1, 2, 3. And then let us say I go in the anti-clockwise direction. So from 1 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 and then from 3 back to 1 again. Now, this is how I personally write the formula. Half mod, I write x and then write y minus y, write x and then write y minus y, write x and then write y minus y. That's it. Now, write this as 1, write this as 2 and this as 3. Now, after 1, what do you get? After 1, you get 2 and then 3. So, let us write 2 here and then 3 here. After 2, what do you get? After 2, we get 3 and then 1. So, let us write 3 and then 1. Now, after 3, what do you get? After 3, you get 1 and then 2. So, let us write 1 here and then 2 here. Now, this is your point x1, y1. This is your point x2, y2. This is your point x3, y3. Let us substitute these values here in the formula. So, this is going to be half mod in place of x1 I have to write 2 and then in place of y2 I need to write 0 keep the minus sign from the formula in place of y3 you are going to write minus 4 x2 in place of x2 I'm going to write minus 1 in place of y3 I'm going to write minus 4 keep the minus sign from the formula in place of y1 I'm going to write 3 in place of x3 I'm going to write 2 in place of y1 I'm going to write 3 in place of y2 I'm going to write 0 that's it now since this minus sign and this minus sign they are very close to each other let me separate them by keeping a bracket here Likewise here the plus sign and minus sign and they are very close to each other. Let me separate them by using a bracket here. Okay, that's it. Now this is going to be half mod 2 into this is 0. Let me write it as it is minus into minus that gives me plus 4. Now plus into minus that gives me minus. So this is 1 minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. Now 3 minus 0 is nothing but 3 itself. So what do I end up getting now? Half modulus of 2 into 0 plus 4 is 4 itself. Minus into minus is plus. 1 into 7 is 7. 2 into 3 is 6. Now what do I end up getting? Half mod 2 into 4 is 8 plus 7 plus 6 let me write as it is so what did i do i first simplified the brackets i simplified this bracket this bracket this bracket i simply i'm simplifying the brackets first 
I'm simplifying the brackets first and then multiply with the outside number and open the bracket. Now what do you end up getting? Half mod 8 plus 7 that gives us 15, 15 plus 6 that gives us 21. Now modulus of 21 is nothing but 21 itself you end up getting the same positive number. You wrote the modulus here because the area cannot be negative, right? Now 1 into 21 is 21, 21 by 2 is nothing but 10.5. So the area of the triangle whose vertices are given to us is 10.5 square units. I would like you to try the second bit by yourself. In the second bit, it says the three vertices are minus 5 comma minus 1, 3 comma minus 5, and 5 comma 2. So you can try this by yourself. Let me know your answer in the comment section. If you if you run into any problems, please let me know um, in the comment section as well. Okay. Now the second question it says in each of the following find the value of k for which the points are collinear. Now I have three points given to me and it says that these three points are collinear. What do you mean by collinear? See Points lying on the same line are known as collinear points, right? So these three points that you see here, they should be lying on the same line. They should be lying on the same line. Now, when the points are lying on the same line, you do not get a triangle here. You do not get a triangle here. You don't get a triangle. Uh, uh, you, there's, there's no triangle that is being formed by the points A, B and C. So obviously the area of the triangle is going to be zero. When the points are collinear, there's no triangle being formed here because the points are lying on the same line. There's no triangle that is being formed here. So the area of the triangle is going to be zero. So whenever it says the points are collinear, you have to assume that the area of the triangle is zero. Therefore, since the points are collinear, you can mention since the points are collinear, area of the triangle should be equal to zero. Now you can find out the area of the triangle by using the formula half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 that area is going to be zero so this is the map this is the same thing that i do here i wrote x1 here x2 here x3 here after one i get two and three so i wrote two and three here after two i get three and one so i wrote three and one here after three i get one and two after three if i go in this in the anti-clockwise direction i get one and two so i wrote one and two here now let us substitute these points here this is our x1 y1 and this is our x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 let us substitute the points here so this is going to be half mod in place of x1 i'm going to write seven and then in place of y2 i'm going to write one in place of y3 i'm going to write k and then in place of x2, I'm going to write 5. In place of y3, I'm going to write k. In place of y1, let us write minus 2. So remember this minus sign from the formula, write it as it is. Now in place of y1, you have to write minus 2. Uh, most of the times I see students skipping this minus sign because there is already a minus sign here, which is wrong. First, the minus from the formula, write it as it is and then in place of y1, write minus 2. Now, since these two signs are very close to each other, you can separate them by using a bracket like this. And then what is x3 here? x3 is 3, y1, y1 is minus 2, y2, y2 is 1 is equal to zero. Now what do I end up getting? Half mod. Now 1 and k, I cannot subtract them because they are unlike terms obviously i cannot subtract them so let me multiply with seven and open the bracket here seven into one that gives me seven seven into k that gives me seven k now this five let me write as it is for now k let me write as it is for now let me first open this bracket minus into minus that gives me plus okay and now minus two minus three you can simplify it right minus two minus three that gives you uh, sorry minus two minus one that gives you minus three 
isn't it now what happens half modulus of 7 minus 7k plus let us multiply this with 5 and open the bracket 5 into k that gives you 5k 5 into 2 that gives us 10 plus into minus is minus 3 into 3 is 9 now what happens half modulus of now you can subtract the numbers here uh, 10 arrow subtract the numbers 10 plus 7 is 17 17 minus 9 that gives us 8 isn't it so this is 8 10 plus 7 is 17 17 minus 9 that gives us 8 and then minus 7k plus 5k that gives us minus 2k isn't it now what happens 8 minus 2k is going to be 0 2 is dividing on the left hand side so obviously 2 would be multiplying on the right hand side 2 into 0 2 is dividing on the left hand side so it multiplies on the right hand side so it is multiplying on the right hand side now what happens 8 minus 2k is equal to 0 into 2 is nothing but 0 itself now what can i do here to find the value of k let us let us transpose minus 2k to the right hand side it becomes plus 2k and what is the value of k going to be it is going to be 8 by 2 2 is multiplying so obviously 2 would be dividing here 2 into 4 is 8 the value of k is 4 so we end up getting the value of k as 4 he gave us three points but then there was a missing coordinate which he wrote it as k and he wanted us to find out the value of k if the points are collinear obviously if the points are collinear they would be lying on the same line if the points are lying on the same line they do not form a triangle so the area of the triangle is zero substitute the coordinates and find the value of k let's move on to the next question now in question number three it says find the area of the triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of the triangle whose vertices are 0 comma minus 1 2 comma 1 and 0 comma 3 so what do we need to do see there's a triangle whose vertices are given to us now we have to find out the area of a triangle which is formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of this bigger triangle now the midpoint of BC is D and the midpoint of AC is E and then I took the midpoint of AB as F. So we have to find out the area of the triangle which is formed by joining the midpoints of this bigger triangle and then we have to find the ratio of the area a ratio of this area to the ratio of the given triangle which means I have to find out the ratio of the smaller triangle and the, and the bigger triangle so what do I do here now let me first find out the coordinates D E and F what is D D is the midpoint of BC let me write here D is midpoint of B which is 2 comma 1 and C which is 0 comma 3 I believe you already know the midpoint formula right what is the midpoint formula the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 now this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 let us substitute the values in the midpoint formula so D is going to be in place of x1 I'm going to write 2 in place of x2 I'm going to write 0 and then in place of y1 I'm going to write 1 in place of y2 I'm going to write 3 by 2 as it is so d is going to be 2 plus 0 is nothing but 2 itself by 2 I'm writing as it is 1 plus 3 is 4 by 2 let me write as it is now 2 by 2 is going to be 1 because 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 1 by 1 is nothing but 1 again 2 into 2 is 4 so obviously this is 2 so the midpoint of the side BC which is D we got it as 1 comma 2 let me write it here so the coordinates of point D which is the midpoint of BC we got it as 1 comma 2 now instead of writing it explicitly like this you can you could have actually cross-checked here as well you could have done it 
uh, orally as well. What are you really doing in the midpoint formula? You are taking the average of x coordinates and then you are taking the average of y coordinates. Meaning, you are adding the x coordinates and then dividing by 2. You are adding the y coordinates and dividing by 2. So, you can you could have done it orally as well. I mean, in your mind as well. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 by 2, that gives us 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 by 2, that gives us 2. You could have done it directly as well. But then since obviously you have to put it on the paper, so let's do it this way. Now, E. What is E here? E is the midpoint of AC. So, E is midpoint of A and C. Now, let us take this as x1, y1 and let us take this as x2, y2. So, E is going to be, let me write the midpoint formula first which is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. This is the midpoint formula which gives you, which helps you in finding the midpoint. So I'm finding the midpoint of AC which is E. Now in place of x1 let us substitute 0 here and then in place of x2 let me write 0 again by 2 as it is. In place of y1 let me write minus 1. In place of y2 let me write 3 here. So what do I end up getting here? E is equal to 0 plus 0 is nothing but 0 itself. By 2 I'm writing as it is 3 minus 1 that gives us 2. So what is E going to be? 0 by 2 is nothing but 0 itself. 2 by 2 that gives you 1 right because 2 into 1 is 2. 2 into 1 is 2. 1 by 1 is nothing but 1. So we got the coordinates of E as 0 comma 1. Now let me find out the coordinates of F. F is the midpoint of AB. So let us mention it. F is the midpoint of AB. A is 0 comma minus 1 and then B is 2 comma 1. F is the midpoint of AB. Now take this as x1 y1 and take this as x2 y2. Now what is the midpoint formula again? The midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. Now in place of x1 let me write 0 here. In place of x2 let me write 2 here. And then in place of y1 let me write minus 1. In place of y2 let me write 1 by 2 as it is. So f is going to be 0 plus 2 is nothing but 2 itself by 2 minus 1 plus 1 they cancel out and you end up getting 0 in the numerator right minus 1 and plus 1 they cancel out you end up getting 0 in the numerator. So what is f here 2 by 2 which is nothing but 1 0 by 2 is 0 itself. So the coordinates of point f are 1 comma 0. So it was pretty easy for you to find out the coordinates of the triangle DEF because D is the midpoint of BC, E is the midpoint of AC and then F is the midpoint of AB. Now what do we need to do? We will find out the area of the triangle DEF and then we will find out the area of the triangle ABC and then we will get their ratio. Let me first write the coordinates of DEF on a new page and find the area of the triangle DEF. D is, how much is D? D is 1 comma 2, okay. And then E is 0 comma 1, okay. And then F is 1 comma 0. Let us find out the area of the triangle DEF which is formed by joining the midpoints of this bigger triangle. Now, area of triangle DEF. Let me write the formula for finding area of a triangle when the vertices are given to us. The formula is half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 and I told you how to remember this formula. Now this is x1 y1, this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3. Now let us substitute the values half mod in place of x1 I'm going to write 1, y2 is 1, y3 is 0 okay and then x2, x2 is 0 
y3 y3 is 0 y1 y1 is 2 x3 x3 is 1 y1 y1 is 2 y2 y2 is 1 now this is going to be half mod 1 minus 0 is going to be 0 so first try to simplify the bracket 1 minus 0 is nothing sorry 1 minus 0 is nothing but 1 because obviously when you remove 0 you're, you're actually not removing anything from 1 so 1 remains as it is 1 remains as it is my bad now what is 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 itself 2 minus 1 that gives you 1 now what happens half mod 1 into 1 is 1 plus into minus that gives you a minus but then 0 into 2 is 0 itself now 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 so what do you end up getting here half mod 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 0 is nothing but 2 itself because 1 plus 1 is 2 from 2 you are removing 0 which means you are not removing anything so 2 remains as it is now modulus of 2 is nothing but 2 itself now we can cancel the numerator and the denominator 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 1 is 2 so 1 into 1 you end up getting 1 as 1 square units as the area of the triangle DEF. So we got the area of the triangle DEF as 1 square units. Let us also find out the area of the bigger triangle ABC. Let me first write the coordinates of the triangle ABC. A, B, and then c what is a given to us a is 0 comma minus 1 okay and then b b is 2 comma 1 okay and then c is 0 comma 3 okay now this is your x1 y1 this is your x2 y2 this is your x3 y3 let us write the formula for finding area of a triangle when the vertices are given to us so area of triangle a b c is going to be half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 let us substitute these values in the formula now half mod in place of x1 i'm going to write 0 here y2 y2 is 1 y3 y3 is 3 and then x2 x2 is 2 y3 y3 is 3 y1 y1 is minus 1 okay and then x3 x3 is 0 uh, y1 y1 is minus 1 minus y2 y2 is 1 now what happens half mod 0 into 1 minus 3 is nothing but minus 2 now this minus sign and then this minus sign they are very close to each other let me separate them by keeping a bracket here now this is 3 here minus into minus that gives us plus 1 as it is now 1 minus 1 minus 1 is nothing but minus 2 so what happens now half modulus of 0 into anything that gives you a 0 isn't it now 3 plus 1 is 4 3 plus 1 that gives you 4 0 into anything that gives you 0 right now half modulus of 0 plus 2 into 4 is 8 the 0 I'm writing it as it is for now now 8 only 8 is remaining here 8 plus 0 is nothing but 8 itself 8 plus 0 again 8 itself so modulus of 8 is nothing but 8 let me cancel this by 2 table 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 4 is 8 so we end up getting the area of the triangle ABC as 4 square units now what are we supposed to find out now he is asking us to find out the ratio of the area of the triangle formed by joining the midpoints and the area of the original triangle the bigger triangle so let us find out the ratio area of triangle def is to area of triangle abc is going to be area of triangle def is one square unit so let me write one here s2 area of triangle abc is 4 so let me write 4 here so the ratio of the area of the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle is 
1 is to 4. Let's move on to the next question, question number 4. Okay, so now the question number 4, it says, find the area of the quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is nothing but a figure which has four sides, just the, uh, you know, it is just like the one that I drew here. This also has four sides, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the question says, find the area of the quadrilateral whose vertices taken in order are minus 4, comma minus 2, minus 3, comma minus 5, 3, comma minus 2 and 2, comma 3. I have uh, denoted the vertex vertices by A, B, C and D. Now, we are supposed to find out the area of the quadrilateral. We don't have a separate formula for finding area of a quadrilateral. So, what you can possibly do is you can draw one of the diagonals here. You can draw the diagonal AC or else you can draw the diagonal BD. It is your personal choice. Let me draw the diagonal AC here. Why am I drawing the diagonal AC here? Because I want to divide the quadrilateral into two triangles. Now I end up getting two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADC. I will find out the area of triangle ABC first and then I'll find out the area of triangle ADC. And when I add the two areas, I would end up getting the complete area of the quadrilateral, isn't it? Area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC that should give me the area of the complete quadrilateral. So let us first find out the area of the triangle ABC. A is minus 4 comma minus 2, B is minus 3 comma minus 5, C is 3 comma minus 2. Now area of triangle ABC is going to be, let me first write the formula, half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Now, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2, this is x3, y3. Let's substitute the values here. In place of x1, I'm going to write minus 4. In place of y2, let us write minus 5. And then in place of y3, let me write minus 2. Now see, uh, this minus sign from the formula, I wrote it as it is. And then in place of y3, I wrote minus 2. Now these two minus signs, they are very close to each other. So you can separate them by using a bracket here. Now, in place of x2, I need to write minus 3. In place of y3, I need to write minus 2. In place of y1, I need to write minus 2. Since the two signs are very close to each other, let me separate them by using a bracket here. And then in place of x3, I need to write 3. In place of y1, I need to write minus 2. In place of y2, I need to write minus 5. Let me separate these two signs using a bracket here. Now what happens? What is the area you are getting? Half mod minus 4 minus 5 minus into minus that gives me plus. So let us first open the innermost bracket here. Minus into minus that gives me plus. Plus into minus is minus. Let me open the innermost bracket here. Minus into minus is plus 2 as it is. Now minus into minus is plus 5 as it is. So what do you end up getting here? Half mod minus 4 into minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. Now minus 2 plus 2 they cancel out you end up getting 0 here. 5 minus 2 that gives you 3. So what is the area going to be? Half mod minus into minus is plus 4 into 3 is 12. When you multiply two numbers, you first multiply their signs, isn't it? Minus into minus is plus 4 into 3 is 12. So you get a 12 here. 3 into 0 is 0. 3 into 3 that gives us 9. Now what happens? Half modulus of 12 plus 9. 12 plus 9 that gives us 21. You can remove the modulus here. Modulus of 21 is nothing but 21 itself. So you are getting the area here as 21 by 2 square units. So the area of the triangle ABC is 21 by 2 square units. In the same manner, let us find out the area of triangle ADC. Let me first write what is A, what is D and what is C. 
Now this is your x1 y1, this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3. Let me find out area of triangle ADC. Let us first write the formula for finding the area of a triangle when the vertices are given to us. Half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 x2 into y3 minus y1 x3 into y1 minus y2 now let us substitute the values here in place of x1 i am going to write minus 4 in place of y2 i'm going to write 3 here in place of y3 let me write minus 2 in place of x2 let me write 2 in place of y3 let me write minus 2 in place of y1 let me write minus 2 in place of x3 i'll write 3 in place of y1 i need to write minus 2 in place of y2 i need to write 3 here now what happens since this minus and this minus are very close to each other let me separate them by using a bracket here also this minus and this minus they're very close to each other let me separate them by using a bracket here now what happens half mod let us first simplify the innermost bracket i mean open the innermost bracket here write 3 as it is minus into minus that gives you plus minus into minus that gives us plus minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 now what happens half mod 3 plus 2 that gives you 5 minus 2 plus 2 they cancel out and you end up getting 0 here plus into minus that gives you minus 3 into 5 is 15 now what happens half mod 4 into 5 that gives us 20 2 into 0 2 into 0 is nothing but 0 itself minus 15 let me write it as it is so what am i getting now half modulus of minus 20 minus 15 that is minus 35 and what is modulus of minus 35 it is going to be plus 35 how see we wrote modulus here because the area cannot be negative right so this modulus of minus 35 will take the absolute value which is plus 35 so the area of triangle ADC we are getting it as 1 into 35 is 35 right 35 by 2 square units now we can find out the area of the quadrilateral area of quadrilateral ABCD should be area of triangle ABC plus the area of triangle ADC so let me write here area of the quadrilateral ABCD should be equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of the triangle ADC area of triangle ABC is how much area of triangle ABC is 21 by 2 and then the area of triangle ADC is 35 by 2 what happens when you add them up since both of them they have the same denominator so obviously uh, the LCM is going to be 2 itself then you can add up the numerators 21 and 35 21 plus 35 is how much 5 plus 1 that gives you 6 2 plus 3 that gives you 5 56 56 by 2 so the area of the quadrilateral is going to be 56 by 2 isn't it 5 plus 1 is 6 3 plus 2 is 5 56 2 into 28 is 56 therefore the area of the quadrilateral is 28 square units let us now move on to the very last question of the exercise question number 5 now question number 5 says you have studied in class 9 chapter 9 example 3 that a median of a triangle divides it into two triangles of equal areas verify this result for triangle abc whose vertices are 4 comma minus 6 3 comma minus 2 5 comma 2 now i have drawn a triangle here and i have written the vertices that are given to us in the question now we have to prove that the median of a triangle divides a triangle into two triangles of equal areas now what is a median a median is nothing but a, a line segment which joins a vertex i'm joining the vertex a to the midpoint of its opposite side bc 
for the vertex a the opposite side is bc let us say the midpoint of bc is some d now when you join the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side you call such a line segment as a median so a median is a line segment which joins the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side now you could have drawn the median from the vertex b as well you could have drawn the uh, median from the vertex c as well your personal choice but then in this question i have drawn the median from the vertex a now how do you find the coordinates of point d remember d is the midpoint of bc so let's write here d is nothing but it is the midpoint of b and c the d is the midpoint of bc d is the midpoint of bc and what is b here b is x1 y1 and then c is x2 y2 you know the midpoint formula midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 let us substitute the coordinate here in place of x1 let us write 3 and then in place of x2 let me write 5 in place of y1 let me write minus 2 and then in place of y2 let me write 2 so d is going to be 3 plus 5 that gives us 8 minus 2 plus 2 they cancel out and then you get a 0 in the numerator 8 by 2 is nothing but 4 because 2 into 4 is 8 0 by 2 is nothing but 0 itself so we got the coordinates of point d as 4 comma 0 now i have to verify that uh, the median divides a triangle into two triangles of equal areas which means i have to find out the area of triangle abd and then find out the area of triangle acd and very Verify that the areas of these two triangles are equal. Let me first find out the area of the triangle ABD. So I'm going to write the uh, vertices A, B, and D. Let us say this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2, and this is x3, y3. Let us find the area of triangle A, B, D. Let me write the area of triangle formula half mod x1 into y2 minus y3, x2 into y3 minus y1, x3 into y1 minus y2. Now let us substitute the values here. In place of x1, I'm going to write 4. In place of y2, I need to write minus 2. In place of y3, I have to write 0. In place of x2, you write 3 here. In place of y3, you need to write 0. In place of y1, you need to write minus 6. And then in place of x3, you got to write 4. In place of y1, we will write minus 6. In place of y2, I'm going to write minus 2. Now what happens, these two negative signs they are very close to each other, so let me separate them by using a bracket. These two signs are very close to each other, let me separate them by using a bracket. Now what happens, half mod, from minus 2 you are subtracting 0, which means you are not subtracting anything at all. So minus 2 remains as it is, now minus into minus that gives us plus minus into minus that gives us plus so what are we left with now plus into minus is minus 4 into 2 is 8 0 plus 6 is nothing but 6 itself minus 6 plus 2 is nothing but minus 4 right when you have different signs you have to subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger number so 6 minus 2 that gives you 4 bigger number is 6 so it, ha it should have the negative sign because 6 has a negative sign here half mod minus 8 plus 3 into 6 is 18 plus into minus is minus 4 into 4 is 16 so what do we end up getting here half mod 18 let me write it as it is minus 16 minus 8 that gives us minus 24 isn't it now 24 minus 18 that gives us 6 the bigger number is 24 it has a negative sign so let me write the negative sign here and modulus of minus 6 is nothing but plus 6 itself the area cannot be negative and that's the reason we write a modulus here 
mod of minus 6 is nothing but plus 6 2 into 3 is 6 so I am getting the area of the triangle ABD as 3 square units now let us also find out the area of the triangle ACD and we'll check if the area of the two triangles is equal let me first write the, the vertices A, C and D. So A is A is 4 comma minus 6, C is 5 comma 2 and then D is 4 comma 0. So this is going to be x1, y1, this is our x2, y2 and this is x3, y3 area of triangle ADC is going to be half mod x1 into y2 minus y3 x2 into y3 minus y1 x3 into y1 minus y2 now let us substitute the values here in place of x1 i'm going to write 4 in place of y2 i need to write 2 in place of y3 i have to write 0 in place of x2 i need to write 5 in place of y3 i need to write 0 in place of y1 i need to write minus 6 in place of x3 you write 4 y1 is minus 6 y2 y2 is 2 so what happens now half mod 2 minus 0 is nothing but 2 itself now these negative these signs are very close to each other so let me separate them by using a bracket here now what happens 0 minus into minus is plus 6 as it is minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8 isn't it so what happens now half mod 4 into 2 is 8 0 plus 6 is nothing but 6 itself plus into minus is minus 4 into 8 is 32 so what happens now half mod 8 plus 5 into 6 is 30 minus 32 as it is now 30 plus 8 is 38 minus 32 as it is 38 minus 32 is 6 modulus of 6 is nothing but 6 itself 2 into 3 is 6 so I got the area of the triangle ADC also as 3 square units. We got the area of the triangle ABD as 3 square units. We got the area of the triangle ACD also as 3 square units. Hence, it, we have verified that the median of a triangle divides the triangle into two triangles of equal areas. With this, we have completed this chapter. I look forward to see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Until then, goodbye you made it to the very end of the video i hope you understood how to find out the area of a triangle when the vertices of a triangle are given to you if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to let me know in the comment section also please do let me know which chapter you would like me to cover in the next video if you find the video helpful i suggest you to subscribe to the channel and uh, share the video with your friends and acquaintances even they may benefit from it with this video we have completed the entire chapter chapter 7 coordinate geometry from cbsc class 10 syllabus i look forward to see you all in the next video have a great day ahead until then goodbye